Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial and today it's on ships. So this is an alternative to Movecraft. It is a lot simpler, but it allows you to create various um, vehicles such as airships, normal ships, submarines, planes and the Mars ship. So they all do various different things and they require a furnace with coal. I better top this up uh, before it runs out so we can actually move it. A nether rack burner, a sign and obviously a wheel. The thruster which is the move sign and obviously the altitude sign to go up and down so uh, I've built this um, pretty awful airship it doesn't look very good out of over 60% of wool so that's very important if you have um, less than 60% wool it will not work however the Mars ship doesn't require fuel or wool so uh, that is a good um, advantage of the Mars ship but it cannot fly during the night over here we have a little plane. This is probably not a good example because it's too small and you can't actually put the signs in the burner on. I should have built maybe a 747 or something, but uh, that would have taken a very long time. So let's have a play on this before I show you how to do it and let's have a go. So with the wheel, if we right click this, we will rotate the ship 90 degrees and now we're facing backwards. So um, if I right click twice more, we'll be facing the other airship and we could actually ram it. If we right click this we will go forwards. Uh, I don't really want to get too close to it but uh, there we go. You can go forwards and we could spin around again and go the other direction as well which is cool and obviously we have the altitude which uh, is the height. So if we right click this we will go up. As you can see we're a lot higher than this in the plane now and left click it to go down which is why I switch game modes. Obviously I don't want to destroy the sign. So let me go back in game mode 1. Let's go forward a bit more and let's rotate the ship 90 degrees so it's facing the correct direction. So let's go ahead and create our own airship. So this one has been replaced with wool instead of wood so it works properly. And what we need to do is pop down the furnace and nether rack. So we are going to put it towards the stern of the ship which is the correct name for the back if you didn't know and obviously the bow is the front. So we are going to pop these down here and then we create a sign in the middle between the two. So ships in brackets on the top line, the vehicle type, so either plane, ship, airship, submarine, whichever one you want. And the second, third line is your name, but you can leave it blank. And the fourth line is the name. So let's go ahead and call it ML. Once you've done that, you can create the other sign. So move in square brackets, wheel in square brackets, and altitude in square brackets to control the height. And there we go, it's as simple as that. So uh, make sure you actually put your coal in there and you light the nether rack on fire. And there we go, we have our working airship. So let's go ahead and look at the config file now and see what we can change in there. So here we are in the ships folder and as you can see there are two folders. We have the vessel data which obviously stores information about your ships and the configuration folder which has all of the stuff you want to edit. So let's go into the materials quickly and in here you can see all of the different materials that you could make your ship out of followed by a value, a 0, a 1 or a 2. Well what does this mean? So a zero means an obstacle block where um, the ship won't actually pass. The one means a vessel material, so you can build your ship out of it. So wood, wall, that sort of thing. And two means a ram material, so the ship will just go straight through it, such as, I think I saw flour, and you could set leaves or something, maybe. Uh, so vines, it will go straight through vines, and melons and pumpkins. So that is a very cool feature that you can do that. Let's move on to the main config file now and in here there is obviously the messages this tells you various things about your ship um, we have the protection so I'd set all of these to true so um, it won't actually uh, destroy your ship if a creeper comes along or it sets fire to it or any of those terrible things up here we have keep inventories open so the developer has written on this page that it can cause duping, so I'd set that to false. Up here we have the autopilot, so you can set the height that it flies at and whether it's enabled or not. Whether it forces a username on the sign on the third line. 
and up here. So the air check gap, the higher this value, the taller your water-based vehicles can be. But obviously, it will use more server resources, the higher the value, and how big your um, vehicles can be. So the higher this is, the more your server will lag, so don't set it too high, honestly. And let's go into vessel types. So there are all of these. I don't believe solar ships working. It's crossed out on the uh, bucket page, but it might be working in a future update. Airships. So we have the various speeds here. So it will go two blocks um, using the engine. And if you left click the sign, it will go three. We have the minimum and maximum amount of blocks, the required percentage of whatever this block is, which is obviously wool, and the fuel, which is cool. So it takes one fuel at a time. Then if we look at, uh, let's look at the plane for an example. Um, this goes a lot faster, but uses more fuel and requires 42, which is, oh, what's block 42? Stone slabs? No, that's 44. I haven't got a clue what 42 is actually. And that uses 50%. Let's look at one more. Let's look at the submarine. I wonder what this uses. It requires 42 as well. Uh, let's look at the Mars ship which is pretty cool, and that requires 151 and 178. Don't know what those are either. So it's a very cool plugin, as long as you get it to work. Hopefully the developer fixes the annoying issues that I've had with it, but it's a great plugin, and once it's all fixed, it will be fantastic fun to play around on the server. So subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.